that uh, the average Christian having an average conversation with an LDS person that they meet. And they say, oh, yeah, I'm a Christian, too. And they go, like, oh, really? I always heard that Mormons believe, like, really different things than what Christians do. And, you know, so, like, do you believe in God? Yeah, we believe in God. Yeah, do you believe in Jesus? Yeah, we believe in Jesus. Even, he's even in our church name. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Uh, well, yeah. do you believe that Jesus died for our sins and rose again from the dead? Yeah. I, I, I don't get what, yeah, I, I don't know what people are talking about. Sounds like you believe exactly the same thing I do. I guess you know? Joel Osteen's right. We're all <laughs> part of the same camp. <laughs> so, but, um, you know, that's how, but every single one of those words means something completely different to them. And all it takes is clarifying questions of, like you said, oh, well, who is Jesus to you? And, you know, then they throw out terms like, well, he's our elder brother, or he is the Savior versus our Savior. Um, or, you know, well, what do you mean he died for our sins? Well, you know, it's the atonement's possible because of Jesus Christ. You know, it, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be possible apart from him. When you tease that out, then you get into like, okay, well, saved by grace just means that everyone is saved by grace, regardless of what you believe. Yeah. And so yeah. uh, the grace part is that everyone's going to be resurrected. So we took yes. care of the death part of it, but then, it, it, you know, they even have this little diagram. And then the, the, the sin part, though, is where you have to... By the grace, by the um, empowering grace that God gives you, you overcome your sins and you repent of all your sins and deny yourself of all ungodliness. And wow. then is the grace of God sufficient for you, right? I mean, so, um, yeah. So, all it takes is the clarifying questions. But most Christians don't do that. And so they assume that they're having the same conversations, and that's where it ends. It's like now they're my Christian brother or sister. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they typical Christian will only go an inch deep with their questions, and they don't know any better. Right. And you know, I hate to say it, but the liberal media is not helping us a whole lot because they're trying to say that hey, we're, you know, we're all kind of part of the same same overall mm -hmm. picture here. Islam, Judaism, Christianity, all the cults. You know, they're all pretty much the same. We all believe in the same things. We just have a couple different distinctives. We all need to come together. Um, I, I, I like the idea of coming together to talk about these things. But, I, you know, at the same time, there is a difference. You know, you, you, um, when a Jehovah's Witness believes that they have to work their way mm -hmm. into God's graces, okay, that God purchased their resurrection – <laughs> and that's about it. And then the judgment, okay? Mm -hmm. um, that's a problem. That's yeah. a big problem. And so, yeah, finding out what they believe and, and getting these distinctives, you know, and in the New Age movement, you can ask a New Ager, do you mm -hmm. believe in Jesus? They'll say, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. But then you find out, well, well, who is he to you? And it comes, you come to find out that he's just um, an ascended master. He's another great world mm -hmm. teacher mm -hmm. that has, uh, through good works, uh, has ascended and now has become this like spirit teacher that floats around and communicates to people. And that's no, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. not the truth. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it, effective communication with these different groups is to define both what they mean and what, what we mean, um, very clearly, and then to show it, to back it up from the scriptures.